that's the image that got to me the most in this whole thing. It's the thing that brought the tears really close to my eyes, and I don't know why. It's just really good design, I guess. But Steve was like this guy that just couldn't die. He was like a cultural icon, a, a beacon of hope, and a beacon of, of coolness in a society and a culture that marginalizes all these nerds for being uncool. He's the guy that said, I'm a freaking nerd, but I'm cool. You're going to use my products. Being the cool kids, the guys on Jersey Shore, those guys use Apple products. It made it cool for us as nerds to be proud of who we are. You know, personally, I don't really like Apple products that much. I use an iPad. It's probably the only Apple product I've ever really enjoyed, but I don't use Macs. I barely use my iPod ever. Uh, but iPad, yeah, I use that a lot. But before that, you know, I always viewed Apple as this sort of cult mentality, and it turned me off. But it's, there's an undeniable power. There's an undeniable something about Steve. There's, it's, un, it's undefinable, this thing about Steve Jobs. And the world feels so weird to not have him in it. It's, it's bizarre, really bizarre. And I, I can't even place the feeling that I'm having right now. So, you know, Twitter right now is down. It's only been maybe an hour and a half since the announcement, and Twitter is down. And to me, for some reason, that's really fitting, because Steve built all these tools that make it much, much easier for us to communicate together. You know, he built all this... I mean, we really have him to thank for many of the tools that we use to communicate together. And it's fitting that Twitter, the thing that keeps us all connected all the time, even though he had absolutely nothing to do with Twitter, it's fitting that Twitter is fail welling all over the place right now in the wake of this announcement. So, Steve, rest in awesome, man, because we have you to thank for basically everything we do. That's all. <laughs>